Hi guys, today I'm here with a chit chat get ready with me. As some of you may know, I'm just getting back into town. I was in Newfoundland for about two weeks and I will have a Newfoundland vlog coming up, but I had some new makeup come in while I was away, so I figured we would sit down, chat, and get ready together. I know I love to get ready while watching people on YouTube, so perhaps you are doing the same. Let me know down below what you're up to right now, but let's go ahead and get started. Okay, I've moved you in a little bit closer. We're gonna start by prepping the skin and I'm looking super shiny right now. So I'm gonna be using the Lancome Prep and Matte Refreshing Mattifying Makeup Primer with all day, oh, 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 all day hydration. And this actually feels really, really nice. I, I haven't used it yet. Um, but it feels, it doesn't feel super silicone-y. It doesn't feel super um, like too matte, if that makes sense. I'm in this place where I wanna control my oils. oils. Oh man, I haven't filmed in a while where I wanna control my oils, but I don't wanna feel matte or flat, if that makes sense. Uh, I want it to look natural, and this feels really good, so I like the idea of it being like refreshing and hydrating, but at the same time helping to control oils and keep things more matte. So this is my first time trying it. They also have a hydrating one, depending on your skin type. For foundation, this was super, super highly requested. It is the Dior Face and Body. I'm using it today in the shade 4N, and I've worn this, I think, twice now, so this will be my third time. I've used a sponge with it twice, and today I'm going to use their, like, snazzy brush just to see how it goes, but so far I'm really enjoying it, so I will review it. I just need to uh, spend a little more time with it because I didn't want to take home a new foundation to Newfoundland um, because I wanted something that I knew was gonna work and I didn't feel like it was the proper time to start testing things out when I knew I was gonna be out for a super long period of time. But so far my experience with it has been good. I've seen great things. Let me know if you have tried it. I have reviewed the Dior Forever Undercover and the Dior Air Flash, both which of which I really like, so I'll link those down below. And then I also have the original Forever Foundation that I need to review, but um, I've had pretty great experiences with Dior, um, Dior complexion products. I feel like they're not just high-end and luxury because of the name. I feel like the products are really good. So I'm just kind of patting this into the skin to build coverage a little bit more. For concealer, trying something new today. This is the L'Oreal True Match Super Blendable Multi-Use Concealer. Multi-use is all the rage now for concealers. This is Medium Neutral 5.6, and this does seem to come in a nice amount of shades. I've heard good things about this, and I'm not like a product snob by any means. Like, I'm just a true product junkie. I love high-end, I love drugstore, I love luxury, I love the dollar store. But concealers are the one thing that I'm never tr like as satisfied with the drugstore version as I am the high-end version. There are some that I really, really like, but ultimately at the end of the day, if I'm reaching for one of them, it's almost always high-end. But I've heard great things about this, so we'll see how it goes. And I feel like it could be good for contour as well. Let me know if you have a product like that where you're kind of always le leaning towards high-end. Like for me, you know, I love drugstore mascaras, drugstore foundations, drugstore brow pencils, drugstore blush maybe another place that I feel like the drugstore is lacking. They've, they've stepped up their highlighter game. But yeah, I have a drugstore concealers video. Um, I'll link that down below with some that I like, but this feels really good so far. I also want to try the L'Oreal True Match Foundation. I've never tried that. That's such a classic. Okay, this looks really good. This is going well. Okay, so far, really into it. And the color is good too. It's, um, this one was the neutral one. So it's not too pink, not too yellow. It's a little more yellow, which I prefer. Hmm, I like that. I set my under eyes with the Makeup Forever Micro Finishing Powder in the yellow color and then set my face with the Maybelline Fit Me Loose Finishing Powder and did my brows, just penciled them in a little bit. This is new from Mary Kay. It is their Precision Brow Liner. Really nice, kind of small micro pencil. Has a nice creamy texture. Uh, brown brunette. So now I'm gonna bring you in to do the eyeballs. Now this is not a new palette, but I've never used it on my channel, and I think I've only really used it uh, probably once. It is the ColourPop Double Entendre palette. It is uh, just kind of a neutrally leaning warm palette, so I figured we'd put it to use today, just in case you own it or it is still available. So I'm gonna put some of this in the crease. 
I feel like I'm flying through and going so fast. I'm like, have I even chatted to you about anything? I don't know why everything is going on so quickly. Um, but yeah, just back from Newfoundland, I was home for a wedding. And then um, Nems' parents came from Serbia to Newfoundland because they never checked it out when he was there. So I have a vlog that's gonna go up in about a week or so, either this Sunday or next Sunday. And I'm so excited. I was editing it today and it's just, I don't know, it's great. It has part of the wedding in there. And um, I don't know, I love vlogging and I'm glad that you're liking it too. I know it's not for everybody, um, but if you haven't watched any of my vlogs, I had one that went up last week, I'll link it down below. Basically, it's just kind of me going through my life, showing you different things. Uh, right now, a big subject has been weight loss and what I'm going through with that. And I'm um, gonna take a combo of these two. And yeah, I love vlogs because you get to learn so much about a person and see a different side of them. And there's just something so entertaining about vlogs. Just that like getting to see into somebody's life, how someone else does something, you know, what they eat for dinner, what their preferences are, just random things, I don't know. I really enjoy it. And I'm glad that you guys like it and you know, a lot of you are like, you know, watching my whole vlog, even though it's 25 minutes, and some of you have said they're super relatable and fun, and I don't know, I really appreciate it, because I know it's a bit of a different venture, and a lot of you signed up for beauty, so uh, thank you for taking a chance on watching my vlogs. <laughs> so I get it, you don't, you know, you're not obligated. On the lid, I'm gonna take this copper shade. And I don't think I'll need to put anything else down. Oh, beautiful, wow. So pretty. Colourpop makes great pressed eyeshadows. Colourpop makes great everything mostly besides their foundation. <laughs> and I never really enjoyed the Super Shock stuff. I liked the novelty of it. I liked the way that it, it swatched, but in practice I was not reaching for those individuals. And just putting some of those that deeper colour there in the outer corner. And for my inner corner, I'm going to take this Smashbox a Blaze palette. This is their newest face palette. And I'm going to take this kind of pink highlighter shade and put that on my inner corner. But yeah, it's it's so good to be home. Rue has been a nightmare since we got back. Uh, she gets She's so attached to us, obviously. And we were gone for a while. Uh, and she had a cat sitter, but it just, it's not enough for her. She's so needy and it's a Siamese thing. It's a Rue thing. It's a breeding cat thing. So she has not stopped meowing since we got back. Like she meows a lot, but it's just insanity. Um, and we basically haven't slept the past like three nights because she just can't like calm down. It's gotten better now. The first night we didn't sleep at all um, because she was just meowing like crazy and she would just take her hand with her claws out, not scratching me and just put her claw and her hand, little paw right on my face. And I kept like jolting awake and I don't know why, but uh, anyways, she's on the mend now. But uh, yeah, I feel so bad. But I we have I have I have no travel plans for the next few months, which I'm kind of glad about. And uh, I'll be home with her. For mascara, although this is not new, it is the Maybelline the Falsies. They sent this to me recently. I guess they've kind of revamped the packaging, from what I can tell. And I used to really like this. So let us see, because I really enjoy Maybelline mascaras. The Big Shot, Total Temptation. Uh, those are my favorite, I think. But I used to use this all the time. Back when it was purple and black, I think. I think I like the other two better. This has like a really flexible wand on it. Where I feel like I can't get in there as much. Like it kind of bends with your lashes, which I guess is maybe good. It looks super wispy, like it's. it looks really, really good and wispy, but I like it to be not clumpy, but just borderline, you know, like almost. But that's good if you don't like clumps, but you want some volume. So yeah, this looks good, but I like the other two from them better. And actually this may be one of those mascaras that needs to dry out just a smidge. Not that it's wet, but I feel like if the formula was slightly thicker, it would be where I want it to be. And for funsies, why don't we try the uh, L'Oreal Voluminous Burgundy on the lower lash line, even though I already put mascara here. Oh, oh no. 
and just have to let it dry. Minus the human error. I actually really like the way this looks. It's very subtle, like I don't know if you can even really tell, but I think it looks really cool. Maybe this will be a trend. Maybe I'm starting something right now. For bronzer today using the Wet n Wild Color Icon Bronzer. I've never tried a Wet n Wild bronzer before, or no, I've tried their like dual pan contour thing. This is from the Fire and Ice collection in the shade Queensland. And this is limited edition. It's the deeper of the two bronzers. It looks crazy warm. Seems kind of powdery, but let's see. And I reviewed the um, Astrology collection last month, so I'll link that down below. But this is the first I'm trying of this collection, and I don't know the information for the Canadian launch on this guy, if it's coming or not. Sorry about that. This is super warm. A little bit warmer than I would potentially normally go, but it is really nice. It's um, It seems like it's going to be pigmented and kind of powdery, but you really have some room to build it up, and it really has a sheen to it like I can really see it on my forehead there so it looks very natural but if you're my skin tone you can make this work uh, I did a bronzers for NC42 I'll list that down below and even if you're not NC42 they're kind of just my favorite bronzers and they'll all come in multiple shades if you want to try out one of them if you have more full fair or more deep skin, the majority of them come in a wide range and I kind of chat my way through each formula too. Hmm, it's weird. It really seems like this is gonna be crazy pigmented, but having to build it up a lot, which I don't mind, as long as it builds and it's blendable and it looks smooth, I don't care if I have to build it up. I'd rather that than like a dark streak on my face, but I really thought it was gonna be crazy pigmented. But I kind of like that for a bronzer. Yeah, that's nice. Glue these suckers down. No surprise here, Benefit 24 Hour Brow Setter. Product of the year, even though it's not new, I'm just late, late to it. For blush, I'm gonna use this one from Quo if it's not too light for me. This is their latest collection. Packaging is super pretty, available at Shoppers Drug Mart. If you are Canadian. And I always like their face palettes. They're a little bit um, fair sometimes, but this one seems good. This one is in the shade uh, Dragon Bite. Wow, dragons. That's the new thing, I guess. As Game of Thrones comes to an end, what am I going to do? I'm going to spend that whole season of Game of Thrones just avoiding um, spoilers because we don't have cable. Uh, this blush is really pretty. And I could not watch Game of Thrones at first. I think I talked about this before. Going back in with the Ablaze palette, I'm going to use the more gold highlighter. But when I first started watching Game of Thrones, I tried to watch it by myself. And I am not good at watching things. Like, I just, wow, yeah. That's nice. I've used this before, but I kind of forgot. Um, but I like... I'm always editing or answering comments or texting or on Twitter, whatever it is. And I don't take in information very well. <laughs> and I got so confused with Game of Thrones. I was so bored. I was like, I don't understand what's happening. Everybody's whispering. Everybody has like all these names and families and like, I don't get it. And I didn't like it. But then my boyfriend and I started watching it and he watches everything with subtitles because he uh, is serving as his, um, first language and he's been spe speaking English since he was a kid but having subtitles helps uh, especially when people are like whispering and stuff now I watch everything with subtitles even when I'm by myself no matter what it is the only thing I won't watch is stand-up comedy because it can ruin the punchline but now when I watch shows without subtitles I feel like I'm missing so much and if you're an English like if you're a native English speaker you're not like reading it as it happens. Like you, your brain just reads automatically and it's like you just take in all the information better and you learn things better and it's not harder. Like, I don't know, I always thought it would be so much harder with subtitles and now I do it all the time by myself. Um, yeah, I don't know, just, just a suggestion. For lips, I was gonna go nude. Sorry, I'm just adjusting my pineapple, my ponytail. It also can be called a pineapple. Uh, I was gonna go nude, but you know what? Let's let's go deep, let's go purpley. This is the Essence Long Lasting Lip Liner in Be A Game Changer. This is not new. I feel like this video is going by really fast. Like, I don't know when I sat down to film this, but it's been like under 30 minutes. Like how is this all going on my face so quickly? I don't understand. 
Sometimes when I hear people say like, I blended my eyeshadow for like 15 minutes, I'm like, really? Am I just like not a perfectionist at all? Because I think that's the case. That's probably why my makeup doesn't look like theirs. <laughs> um, and then for my lips, this is new from Annabelle. This is their Edge lipstick in the shade Serena, and it's kind of like a cool purpley. It's in like a, a square diamond. Ah, oh, surprisingly nice to apply, even though that. Huh. It seemed kind of gimmicky, but that makes sense. It's like the, um, well not like, but it's the same experience when I tried the Fenty Stunna lip paint, which they're releasing a new shade of that and it looks so good. But the applicator looked so bizarre and then when I used it, I was like, this is everything I needed, but I didn't know I needed. And this is a really good shape of lipstick. It seems really bizarre because, you know, your lips are more rounded. This is a, like, squared off. That's a really beautiful creamy formula of lipstick and then to set it all in place I meant to do this earlier but this is the Lancome fix it and forget it 24 hour makeup mist and it says it is non-sticky oil free fragrance free silicone free paraffin free um, with plant extracts to deflect and protect I feel like the idea of um, anti-pollution makeup is all the rage I feel like that's what's what's going down lately Ooh, that looks like a good mist. Hmm. Wait a second. Hmm. It has a really beautiful mist. I think you need to hold it quite far from your face because it doesn't feel like anything. Hold on. It's like the mist is so light, but if you bring it too close to your face, it can leave droplets. So just, it says hold it at arm's length. So follow the instructions. Don't just do whatever you want like me. Hmm. What if I hold it? I don't know. I'm gonna have to keep trying this. It feels really good. The mist feels really good, but then there's like there's droplets in it too, but the droplets didn't seem to affect my makeup. It felt like there was gonna be droplets, but I don't think there is. And we're done, I don't know. I feel like this video went by really quickly. I know I've said that a bunch, but for some reason, I don't know, all this makeup went on my face very, very quickly, and I feel like I've barely <laughs> said anything to you, um, but I felt like there was something else I wanted to say. Oh, just the fact, thank you so much for all the love on my recent uh, Get Ready With Me for the wedding. That was such a fun one, and I used to do those back in the day for like birthday parties, and, and I did one at Oshega a couple years ago, and when I'm kind of like with all my friends getting ready, and uh, that was a lot of fun. So I'll link to that down below, but here's the finished makeup look. Really happy with how everything came out. No really duds I mean this is all first impressions of everything but I will continue to keep trying and stay tuned for the face and body review because I will uh, keep testing that out and probably get a review up next week for you I want to make sure I have all of my thoughts formulated and if you'd like to connect with me you can find me on Instagram Twitter and Facebook at Samantha Jane YT and I'll see you guys next time bye